Ogumwa West District Chief Executive Bismarck Inkum has admitted that the nature of their roads in the district is not the best and that remains a major constraint to them. However, there are major interventions from the assembly and the government to improve the road situations. Our roads are in deplorable state, but in spite of that, we have undertaken a lot of uh, interventions. In Most of our roads are feeder roads, and so on annual basis, we on our own, we organize to reshape the roads to put them in shape. We, however, have some major roads like the Rampong, Ankamu, Apam, Mamford, Degu Road. This is a major, major, major road. Currently, there is a contract for the Rampong, Ankamu, Apam Road. It has been sealed from Gumwa Isikuma. Gumwa Isikuma is in Gumwa Central to the Rampong, our end. But the longest stretch hasn't been fixed. The contractor has done some work. Uh, he has raised certificates. Payment hasn't been made for those certificates. So in the interim, what I plan doing is to put a machine on it and reshape. I've already spoken to the, the regional director of highways. A number of letters, he said, have also been forwarded to the appropriate quarters for support. Last two, three weeks, I have written several to the minister of roads and highways. Uh, I forwarded a copy of the letter also to the chief of staff. As far as the, the uh, Palm Inner Roads, Mumford and the Burroughs stretching to the Rampong uh, are concerned. I dispatched some letters to the regional highway director for them also to assist us to reshape some of the, the stretch yes, from Simbrofo. Ugwan, Abonko, Daman to Gumwa Dinja. We have asked them to assist us. Yeah. Aside the poor road infrastructure, the DCE said there is a lot to smile about following a number of developmental projects undertaken in the district. Uh, interventions in terms of uh, developmental projects. And uh, one critical one that I always want to refer to is the Mumford Landing Beach. Until my assumption as a district chief executive linking up with central government. Now we have that project 100% completed, though it is not in the form that we had wished for. I have engaged the, the Minister for Transport and we, we are told that there is going to be some corrective action to put it in a state that we want. So this same government will ensure that everything that is wrong with it is corrected. Also touching on security, the DCE said Mumford, one of the two largest communities in the district, have now been given a police station. Mumford and Apama are the two largest communities in Gumwa West. But can you imagine Mumford with a population of almost 14, 15,000, they don't have a, a, a police station. So we have constructed a, a new police station. I think it is the only police station with air conditioning in Central Region. The, the Methodist School now has a population of about 1,500. So I had to construct six uh, new classroom block, which which has been done around Mount We have constructed a KG block, a, a 600 bed capacity girls dormitory that has been completed and handed over. There is another one that is about 75% completed, that is 250 bed capacity boys dormitory. Then we also have a 18 unit classroom block that is about 90% completed. On top of that, we have put asphalt beauty and asphalt on the, on the inner roots of Apam Secondary School. The Rampon Secondary School has received 12 unit classroom block completed and handed over. Another 6 unit classroom block completed and handed over. We have girls dormitory 250 capacity ongoing that is about 90% completed. We also have boys dormitory which is also ongoing. At Adan Technical School, we have expanded the infrastructure base. We've built a lot of school blocks. We've brought in uh, learning equipment and, and now the school is in position of even uh, of taking up a whole contract.